It was a rather emotional day in court today for the family of Enzo Herrera Garcia as they recalled memories of their loved one and they say it's been a long 10 months without him. I'm still waiting for this honor, this nightmare to end your honor and my brother to be here with me. As pictures flash across the screen in court capturing the 21 years of life left behind by Enzo Herrera Garcia, his family nearly a year later still on a quest for justice in his death. And justice has to be served. I am angry, sad, and destroyed inside over losing him in such a violent manner that Tyler caused. This is Tyler Walker, charged with second degree murder without intent as one of two men involved in Herrera Garcia's murder. And after pleading guilty to his lesser role in the case and agreeing to a 57 month sentencing. We think it's an appropriate sentence based on the level of involvement in this case. Your Honor, the number of months the defendants will be sentenced which was agreed upon to us is not enough time to account for the crime that he was involved in. But the judge having the final say sided with the state sentencing Walker to 57 months with 19 months out on probation. At least two thirds of that time or 38 months must be served in prison. Now that this family's quest for justice has handed at least one of the men responsible for Herrera Garcia's death his fate, this family says they're still left with so many unanswered questions as the pictures fade on 21 years of life, a life they say gone too soon. It is a challenging life now having to deal with this pain every day, and I am unsure of how I'm going to continue. In addition to Walker's sentencing, the judge also placed a life ban on Walker being allowed to purchase or possess any guns. In Minneapolis, Devon Roming, CARE 11 News. The other suspect, Varnell Allen, has a sentencing date set for September 1st.